Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a final look at Magaluf for the summer 2024 summer season. Now, last time I was down here, I did talk about the huge renovation of Magaluf Beach. If you haven't seen that video, I shall pin it in the description text of this video. I'll also pin it at the end of this video as well. Go and check it out. So we are going to take a walk around Magaluf. We're going to see what it's like in the final week of October. We're going to see how busy it is too. And then we're going to check out how the renovations are getting along right at the far end of the beach. But for now, let's turn the camera around and let's see what Magaluf Beach is like today. Now, it is looking absolutely gorgeous over here in Magaluf today and we do have as I've said just a few days left of the summer season we're soon going to be seeing the beach umbrellas and the deck chairs being cleared away but you can see down here on the far end of the beach we've got quite a, a lot of seaweed on the beach and as I've said in other videos they've stopped clearing this away now and this won't be cleared away until the beginning of the 2025 season and that's just to protect the sand down here. So I'm always keen to hear what viewers think of their Mallorca holiday so let's talk to Martin and Mel up the hill here in Torre Nova about their experience in Magaluf. Guys let me know what you think about the renovations on Magaluf Beach. Did you expect it when you came over here on holiday? No we didn't, we didn't know anything about it did we? No we didn't. No. We, we've walked up and down um, and we do feel it's a shame for the hotels and the businesses. Yeah. yeah you can't get um, through can you on no. the front, you, you kind of got to go around the back haven't you? Yeah. So uh, get to uh, we're, we're stopping at HSM Sandello on Torre Nova yeah. and we can hear the drilling in the morning. Yeah, no. Only yeah. ever so slightly, yeah. only ever yeah. so slightly so Okay. Um, I feel dreadfully sorry for them guys up there. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't start it after the season, really. Mm. Yeah. Start the work then, but they didn't, did they? Yeah, no, yeah. No. and what time is the other work starting? Have you noticed? It, in the morning, I would say about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock in the morning. Quite early, and if you're out reveling in Magaluf, yeah. you're going you're to suffer from it, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it is looks quite. A, looks a mess, doesn't it? It looks an eyesore, really. Yeah, it yeah. Really does. That's, that's the only issue, really, isn't it? Yeah. Especially, mm. especially if you, you plan to come out here. So, are you going to Magaluf Beach at all? Or are you staying more Palmer Overside? We're in Torrin over at HSM. Yeah. Up the hill, up Cardiac Hill. Okay, Cardiac Hill. <laughs> Cardiac, Cardiac Hill. Hill. Hotel we must add. Oh, it is. Yeah. We have been well impressed with it, haven't we? The, the, staff, the staff there are great, and we'll yeah. definitely come back. But uh, we've not actually been down the strip. We come here every year. Yeah. We've not been down the strip this time, have we? No, I think we're a bit old now. <laughs> yeah. You'll find the strip to be largely closed at this time of year in oh, October, okay. I think. So yeah. a lot of the um, a lot of the clubs have now finished, and some of the bars are starting to close yeah. down. Yeah. But um, but apart from that, do you go to Magaluf Beach at all? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It is yeah. beautiful. Um, have, have the works affected your days down there? On not, not really, beach. because we've stopped up here. And we we've been more at Palm and Over Beach, yeah, haven't we? This time. We, yeah. we have yeah. walked down Magaluf quite a lot, but it's not affected because we're, we're on this side of the woods. Okay, yeah. okay. But, but it, it would affect you if you're at the Melia, wouldn't yeah, it, somewhere? Yeah, definitely. Okay. You know, what Calvi Beach end? Yeah. Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach, Nikki beach, beach yeah, end. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks very much, guys, for talking you're to welcome. me. Enjoy yeah, the rest welcome. of your holiday. Thank you. So you can see that the resort has very much emptied out as we head towards the end of the season but we do have a few holiday makers down here but the one thing I want to draw your attention to are these dark clouds up above me. Now if you would have seen my Monday Island update you'll know that we're going to be having sporadic showers throughout the island this week with the possibility of rain and thunderstorms. I did get a notification of lightning strikes. I'm hoping I won't get any of those during the making of this video, but let's take a walk along Magaluf seafront here and let's go and check it out. Now, we're gonna head up onto Magaluf Strip today. We're gonna to walk down at the back of the resort before we come back down onto the beach. Now, you may also remember from my updates over here, from my Monday morning updates, we're seeing the closure of some of the little bars and Chiringuitos over here on Magaluf beachfront. Some places have stayed open and will be staying open until the end of the season. I'm, I'm very happy to see that this ice cream shop is very much open. But sadly, my, my favourite Foodinetta cafe here has actually closed now for the season. And this has been the location of where I've been filming the majority of my Monday morning updates as well from down here in Magaluf. We can also see the, the Sirocco Oasis bar has also closed. Look, they've got the, the fences up today, which is such a shame. I think they've had their final days now for summer 2024. But a little bit further along 
Magaluf Beach here, we can still see that the, the Happy House is open and a little cluster of restaurants right next door to that too. But we're not going to hang around this side of the beach. I'll just give you a few views because we're going to head on up towards the Strip and we're going to head on around the resort. As we enter more or less almost the top area of Magaluf Strip, I'm delighted to see that the Three Lions pub is very much open and it normally stays open year round as well. Just taking a little look up the strip here, you can see right to the end of the, the Magaluf Strip. But this bar is always busy and it's always bustling. And over the winter months, you do get a lot of construction workers who are, who are working on, on reforming and doing works at the various hotels in the Magaluf area, heading over to the Three Lions for some lunch, for something to eat, or a few beers at the end of the day. Now, of course, we also get a few holiday makers over here over the winter as well. Let me know in comments if you come over to Magaluf during the winter months and also why you come to so as we approach the end of October, we're not going to find much else open over here on Magaluf Strip. I'm just outside of Lennon's here. You remember this is a hugely popular bar during the, during the summer months, but this obviously has closed now. If you want to see what Magaluf Strip is like right at the very end of a summer season, I actually filmed a live stream down here a couple of years ago. I'll drop a link below. I think I filmed it on the night of the 30th or 31st of October when Magaluf was literally a ghost town, so go and check it out. Now I can hear around me that, that renovations have pretty much started over here, just on and off Magaluf Strip, and we're just outside of Revolution. So it's at this time of year we normally see building work starting over here in the resort. As soon as the summer season finishes, the building work starts. But as you well know, building works have started a lot earlier in many of the resorts over in Calamillor and obviously down here in Magaluf, just two places where we're going to be seeing quite a few renovation works, particularly today actually when we hit the far side of the beach. Now we're just going to dive off the strip very quickly and just have a look at the square here which is right in front of Blackbeard's and oh my goodness it's just started raining. I'm going to come into the shade here. So you can see that the, the works are gradually making their way down the beach side here, down in Magaluf. And you can see the arrival of, of more building materials here in the square right next to Blackbeard's. This is the final week for Blackbeard's Bar and Grill 2. They actually close on Saturday the 27th of October. Make sure you get down here actually to eat. One of my favourite places to eat in Mallorca. And my goodness, look, we can see the, the diggers on the beach already. This isn't great for people over here for a late summer break, I have to say, unless you're a big fan of watching construction works. I also have to say as well, it's just started raining too. And these shelters here do not shel shelter you from the rain. As you can see, look, they're not covered. They just provide a little bit of shade from the summer sun. But let's head out into the resort. I don't mind getting wet today. It's still warm. We've got highs today of around 24 degrees and actually the temperature is quite lovely and the rain is actually feeling quite refreshing. So come on, let's keep going. But look, we can't leave Magaluf Beach without just seeing what's going on down here. And I can see in the distance the Britannia jet is still running. It's coming to drop off some passengers and, and pick some others up too. I can't actually get down to the beach from here, but this is just to give you some views of the building works, which have now crept along the beachfront. You can see they've dug up the path here, right all the way up to Ocean's Beach. Goodness me, you can understand and you can see why uh, these venues have closed at the end of September. And you can understand why many other places are closed as well at this time of year but look check this out they're actually diggers on the beach incredible yeah 
I mean, it's great to see that Blackbeard's is still up and running as well. And it is actually very quiet. They're not actually doing any building works right outside the restaurant. So I hope that that continues during the course of the week and they can just see the summer season out in peace. It's also great to see the Britannia jet is running too because, well, apart from the, the little shower that we've just had just now, it's pretty much stopped already. Um, at least it gives everyone something to do over here in Magaluf. But anyway, let's head on back up the strip and let's go and head round the resort. So just heading up the strip there, I can see a group of lads hoping, I'm guessing, for a little bit of activity down here on Magaluf Strip. I think they're going to be disappointed because as we can see, as we head down the strip here, look, all the businesses are pretty much closed for the season. OK, so let's just turn the camera around and just take one more look at Magaluf Strip. Plenty of people milling around today and, and plenty of people taking a walk up the strip too. Maybe they're heading to Palmanova, I'm not too sure. But look, as we look down the side of Stereo and Temple, you can see the diggers are out on the beach. It's going to have a very, very quick look before we head around the back of the resort. So not surprisingly, Bondi Beach has closed already for the season because, well, check this out. Oh my goodness me, the building works have come right up the walkway here. I can't believe so many people are actually here on holiday as well and just mingling around in between the construction works. I mean, this is quite significant. Let me just see if we can still get onto the beach though. So from Bondi Beach here, um, look, they have created the pathway. I can actually see, look, the Britannia jet is at the jetty, so of course they've had to allow access. My goodness me. So I can't believe this. Um, last time I was down here, the parasailing and the water sports did look like they'd packed up for the season, but they are back. Maybe they just had a day off. So they're still trying to, to stay in business, as is the Britannia jet down here too. Let's go and take a quick look along the beaches and just see exactly how busy it is down here. So we have slightly choppy waters over here on Magaluf Beach today. And the wind has picked up as well, probably because as I look out into the water, you can see that we do have some storms out to sea. They haven't come in just yet though, which is really good news. Let's go and have a look on the other side of the beach. And it's a little bit more sheltered here with the winds at a direction. But there's still quite a few people down here. Of course, we've got uh, lots of half-term holiday makers enjoying the most of the summer season and the really good news actually with all the winds that we have today you can't actually hear the drilling too much so if you are coming out and you do have a breezy day which I suspect we're going to be getting pretty much on the run up to the end of the season you shouldn't hear those those works too much but I'm afraid you are going to see them anyway let's go and head on into Magaluf Resort so as we leave the beach here we can actually see that the building works have extended right along the beachfront and you can see right outside of Hadley's Beach Club right in front of the inside Soul Wave House we've got the diggers and we've got little trucks here removing all the broken concrete too right in the middle of all the holiday makers going to and from the beach oh my goodness I can't believe I literally cannot believe we're seeing this happening during the summer season here. Let me know in comments if you've been over, if it's bothered your stay too much. I'm pretty sure some holiday makers have been surprised by what's going on in Magaluf right at the end of this summer season.
here's a look at Kalima Beach, looking like you've never seen it before. That's the diggers right up in front of the beach club. Anyway, come on, let's head on back into Magaluf. And check this out, still the buses brought into Magaluf Resort. I wonder if these holidaymakers know about the works on Magaluf Beach. Quite possibly. But anyway, look, you can see how busy it is today. And I'm guessing most of the holidaymakers that we have in the resort today are going to be spending a lot of time around their hotel swimming pool. We do still have quite a few hotels open over here in Magaluf. And I'm just looking over at the Seoul Kathmandu Park Resort. This is still very much open. Let's walk down the side. Let's head on towards the House of Kathmandu. And the Seoul Kathmandu Hotel is absolutely packed. Obviously, you can't see in. I'm just walking past. I mean, my goodness me, there are loads of families in there, lots of half-term holiday makers, mainly British as well, I could hear. And we're just coming up by the theme park too. Across the road, we've got Finnegan's and, and that's still open. And I've just popped into Finnegan's. They're going to be closing on the night of the 30th of October. This is a fantastic Irish pub over here in Magaluf. You can see in the corner here, look, they've got a little live music stand as well. They have some great live music too. Really good atmosphere, definitely worth popping in. And we have the Bello Bistro bar as well and Leo's. Should we just go and quickly check out Leo's as well? Let's see how long that's going to be open for too. And I've just come into Leo's. Fantastic news because this bar is going to be staying open over the winter. They're closing around the end of December until the beginning of January actually. They're just going to have a week off for, for a bit of a holiday but you can see as well this is going to be the hub of nightlife over here in Magaluf during the winter months. Now just looking back towards the beach we can see the dark clouds bubbling up. I think I'm going to have to be quite quick with this video. I'm outside the house of Kathmandu. This should be staying open right till the end of October and it's looking very busy in here too. Now I can just hear a rumble of thunder in the background. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit but my goodness look you can see how many people we have over here today in the Kathmandu theme park. As we also have over at the Villa Shopping Centre as well, we've got a little cluster of shops as you well know and an Aldi supermarket but I want to walk down to the centre of the resort I'm going to see what else we have open in Magaluf today. Got a few people over at the mini golf as well in Kathmandu. So we've just come up to Morgan's here, which is right next door to Zeppelin's, which never did reopen this summer. It's good to see that Morgan's is still open as is a few little businesses that we have down on this side road here. A few people sitting out in the remains of the sunshine as well. Right, so I've just stopped off to have a chat to Keith, Mark and Dave. Guys, tell me what you think about the renovations taking place over on Magaluf Beach. Is this a good time to be doing it during the holiday season? And was it a bit of a surprise for you? It certainly was a surprise at half past seven this morning when the jigger picks are going. Oh no, at 7.30? Yeah, definitely. Is this by any chance why you're right outside of Cupid here having a few beers yes. and you're not out on the beachfront? No. So you're looking forward to what the renovations are going to look like, like next gonna year? It's going to be good, obviously. A big improvement, yeah. which is great. It's going to be a big improvement to yeah. the resort. Yes. Okay, guys, well, nice talking to you. I'm going to keep walking up through the resort. Enjoy your beers. We certainly will. And always brilliant to speak to some happy holiday makers over here. Some regulars, I should say, over here on Magaluf. Now, let's quickly pop into Morgan's. I'm going to see if this pub is going to be staying open over the winter too, or whether it's going to close down before the end of the season. And I've just popped into Morgan's. They're only going to be closing for around a month in January, but they're going to be open pretty much throughout the winter, which is fantastic news. Anyway, let's keep heading up through the centre of Magaluf. 
Now, I know quite a few people have got holiday apartments over here, and I know quite a few people come and see us over in the winter. So I'm just including a few opening dates in here, just in case you are going to come down, because don't forget that far side of Magaluf Beach is, is actually going to be building work free. The works are only taking place from Nikki Beach up towards the oceans and not beyond, not for this winter anyway. But meanwhile, look, check out how empty the resort is. It's already a ghost town down here, just outside the Panama Jacks. It's all pretty much closed. Although, looking across the road here, I can see we've got a few people outside the Hotel Samos. And I'm right in front of BCM. Now, I have also heard that they're going to be having a Halloween party over at BCM on the 31st of October. I thought we'd seen the final night over there in September. We saw the final club night, the final summer night, but they are going to be opening up for Halloween. And I'm guessing it's going to be mainly locals going to that party too. Just outside the JB restaurant, that may well stay open over the winter too. I'm just around the back of the Fergus Club Water Park Hotel. Shame they've got some security on the door, otherwise I would probably sneak in. So we're just coming up to the Scottish pub Sinkies. They're, they are currently still open as well, but are they going to stay open over the winter? Let's go and find out. And Sinkies are going to be open until the 31st of October, and then they're going to be closing their doors for the summer season. Now we're just coming up to Benny Hills. I have a feeling that they're going to be closing as well. It's just starting to rain again, so let's quickly pop inside. Now with this slightly showery weather that we're having today, we're going to soon find everyone running into the bars and the restaurants. And I'm going to be one of them. Let's head on in. So, just having a quick look around Benny Hills here. They are going to be closing on Sunday the 28th of October. So if you want to experience the last of Benny Hills for summer 2024, get in before then. Okay, so I'm here with Steve on my left, Ethan on my right. Guys, tell me, how's your holiday been over here in Magaluf? Absolutely great. You know, we, we've had the foot, we're on our last day. Um, we go home tomorrow, but um, the weather's been really good. Um, we've really enjoyed it. It's been so, such a great holiday for this time of year as well. We've had a fantastic time, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Okay, um, tell me, what, what have you thought about the, the works going on at the beach? Did you know about them before you came over? Um, we, actually, we actually went down there the other night for a meal at Bondi Beach. A really nice bar, really nice food. Um, we, we didn't actually know much about the, the beach being um, refurbished, mm. but I believe there's a £4 million project yeah. being done there. Um, but other than that, you, they still access. You think you still get in access to the beach, yeah. but I think it's a bit, bit more of a bit of a walking yeah. distance. But all in all, it hasn't really ruined your experience. No, not the at beach. all. Not at all. Because no. the beach over there is amazing. It's one of yeah. the best on the island, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And the renovations are going to be great. Very briefly, because um, I'm going to be having a video coming out on the channel about the Fergus Club Water Park Hotel where you've been staying. Yeah. In summary, how have you found it? Absolutely brilliant. We'd, yeah. we'd, we'd, we'd come back tomorrow, even though yeah. it's our last day and we're going home, we'd definitely come back the next day. <laughs> okay, um, and very quickly, water park great? Yeah, absolutely. Slides are really fast. Um, slides for the youngsters, different, sli different types of pool for youngsters as yeah. well. Um, all in all, a fantastic holiday. Okay, great staff. Great staff, great Good food. food. Good entertainment. And amazing, an amazing location as well. Yeah, yeah it is. Brilliant. Okay, guys, um, have a safe trip home. Yeah, Thanks very thank much for talking much. to yeah. me. Thank Cheers. You. Thank Bye. Cheers. So after filming this clip, Steve and Ethan showed me around the Fergus Club Mallorca Water Park Hotel. So subscribe to the channel and that video will be coming out soon. And if it's already published, I'll post the link below this video. Okay, so we just left the Water Park Hotel. Check out the sky in front of me. We're in the midst of what looks like it's going to be quite a heavy thunderstorm. Let's see if I can see any more of, of Magaluf very quickly today. Now, I will be back to check out the rest of the resort as well. I'm sure we're going to find many other little bars and restaurants open throughout the winter. And I'll be back to make those videos as soon as the, the season closes. I'll also, of course, be back here to film a live stream as well. Now, I can just feel the rain is starting. 
Let's see if we can get down and see any more of Magaluf today because there is one place as well I just want to point out that's still managing to stay open until the end of the season on the beachfront. Let's go and have a look. And we're just coming up towards the overhanging swimming pool, towards the inside Melia. I'm going to take a left here because we're going to go and check in on Tom Brown's. Okay, so I've just come down the side of Tom Brown's. The heavens have actually opened now and, well, I think the building works are having a bit of a break as well with the rain. And great news as well that Tom Brown's is open until the 31st of October. So make sure if you're down on this side of the beach, come down for some fantastic food. Well, the food here is amazing, so make sure you come down and check it out. But for now, I think this is where I'm going to have to end the video. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to come and support the businesses that have remained open over here in Magaloo. You're going to find a fantastic, friendly atmosphere if you are still yet to come over here on holiday. The sun should be out very, very soon again today. This weather never lasts for long. But for now, don't forget, you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.